comes the execute. Blast Pack is down for automatic, but it actually gets destroyed. And oh boy, how about Shazam? Able to get the first shock dart to land. Recon Bolt will reveal some members from T1, but with the first blood going the way of Sentinels, this defense is looking pretty solid, at least for now. The spike does get planted, though. And as Dapper sits up top trying to find some information off the spy cam, he's going to have to wait for help to come on in. And well, just as the help starts to posture for a retake, Dapper falls. Now we go for four right into the mix. Cups tense, but immediately taken down. Skadoodle finding headshots. And how about the pistols from T1? That's what you expect if you're a T1 fan. Clean after the first blood was again. But the numbers. They're going to overall favor that of Sentinel. 4v3 retake on the way, but 6 will drop. Skadoodle trying to stay alive onto the site with Spider. Good to trade over towards Shazam, and it leaves Tens by himself. And just with the Marshal to work with, this would be incredible, but it will not occur. Sitting on it, it's going to be B41 to start things out with, and a lot of smokes coming down. Ah, uh, Tens. He was tagged up heavily by some paint shells, but never really lost his position. He actually now holds. Three kills for Tens, working for a potential ace. Skadoodle, not liking the look of what's going on over at B, will trail away left. and then rejoin Spider in Garage. This entire C site is being watched by a spy cam. But Spider just, wants yeah. to try to deny the rotation. Point of contact with Tens, potentially. Tag onto Skadoodle. Now Tens making his way forward onto the site itself. Smokes and cloud bursts coming through, but with 11 seconds, you've got to make a play for T1. And here it comes. Spider from behind finds the first. Dapper's by himself. They know he's there. Skadoodle for the trade. Just enough time to plant, but can he even get away is the real question. He's going to be stuck really right on top of these radiant boxes. Two players around the corner. Skadoodle still holding right on top of the spike. No exit available. Easy trade, and Sentinels get on the board. Decent effort from T1. I mean, you can see where we're scheduled if you can isolate a 1v1 there. Might want to think about TPing out. Zombs will swing for this one. Might get punished. There it is. That's going to be Zombs traded for nothing. T1 Spider gets to kill it. So far, the entire A site's been opened up. And this time, Automatic actually does get the Blast Pack boost he was looking for, but Tens over the top. Able to find one kill in response. Numbers still favor T1. Automatic able to pick up the spike and then immediately plant. The retake, you feel, is going to be sooner rather than later, especially with Tens having blades in hand. He has no movement abilities as of yet, though. Just Cloud Burst to use. Over the corner, Day's response puts him down. Now it's up to just Dapper with an LMG. Maybe he can get some spam shots. Won't even be allowed. Plants largely have been successful. The only other question that I think you could pose is, you know, when they eventually get to full gun rounds versus Sentinels, can they find a way to win those? Nice start here as Automatic will find one Curry will be responsible for his trade. Shazam hoping for some success with the Hunter's Fury, of which he does take down Spider. That keeps the C site relatively contested, even though there's no one actually on. The Cosmic Divide will come through, and that might be what's used to actually get this fight planted. That Hunter's Fury has actually opened things up for Sentinels again, despite the fact that Shazam doesn't quite have a gun. Dapper actually gets a kill there as well onto the retake. Now that pulse, that pull, the gravity well, <laughs> makes things so good for T1. The combo that went up with the Shock Dart. Spike still hasn't been planted, but they have the player advantage once more. Sentinels can still go for this one. Plenty of health and what? Well, no, they lose it very quickly. Now it's just down to Zombs and 24. One versus two. 46 HP for Curry. Would love to find a 1v1 isolated. The turret's going to spot up the positioning. Now Zombs' time is limited. Oh. He finds the first, though. Curry will give him an opportunity for the second, but the wide peak just a touch good. And so far, just the one member from T1 in long as well. It's going to be pretty heavy over towards A, and here comes Tens. That could be really important. Attacking lockdown coming through. Tens on the way over. He's actually going to be tagged up by the Boombot. The lockdown will be in effect here in a moment. Defense has to alleviate most of this site, and that will be when T1 makes their play. And actually, Tens will be detained, so that power of the operator will be a bit delayed on this initial retake. Sick. Has not had the greatest game so far, but would love to set things up. Maybe even time for the run it back to come into play here in this 4v4. Time is ticking. There it is. Running backs coming through. Trying to drop down. He will get the information, but is he able to make any good off of it? The answer so far seems to be no, but Shazam keeps the play alive. Able to find himself a second. It's going to be the third around the corner from the blaze wall, but not going to find Dazed. Now it's just up to Sick to make his way through. Running and gunning. Turns it into a 1v1. Going to get this to at least halfway. Backs up. Finds the elimination. Sick. The first one. That's going to be really unfortunate. Now it's got the Hunter's Fury offensively from Days that could open things up for the side. Indeed, Tens goes down. Zombs trades on to Curry. 
the Zombs will only get the one, so Automatic has two in the opening, and that oh. gives the player advantage massively now for T1 as Sick goes down as well. Yeah, Sentinels lose a lot of their post-plant breakup as they had Sick on that long flank. Automatic, the same belt, last pack play to get up top. Finds himself two on the initial execute, just leaving things to Shazam. Eight start, maybe a three and nine. Another early gravity while intense. Trying to get aggressive, but instantly punished. Days uh -huh. with two, and that's A open again. Just down to Zombs now. And Zombs has to get a lot of trades here. Gets the one, but is it going to be enough? Because it's 4v2, and that's still... It certainly feels like Sentinels are going to concede this round eventually. Just comes down to maybe one good kill on the exit could change things up, but there just won't be enough time here. One on the exit again, I mean, this is kind of all Sentinels have got in the past couple rounds. Just some exit frags, trying to keep the T1 economy honest, but they're not getting the rounds. Eight now for T1. And sure, it's not like a lot of rounds in a row there has been. Minimal for Sentinels overall, and how about this? They're getting a bit aggressive. Tens will find one, but the trades are just not favorable whatsoever. Spike still in hand, actually looking to capitalize on these eliminations in the middle of the map to approach the B site, but Zoms is here. And Aldron will clear things out a short. So Sentinels, realistically, could still retain this site. Pending, there are some good eliminations coming through for Zoms, and it looks like T1 are going to take their time and make sure they do this correctly. So we divide over towards the middle of the map as well, just over towards B. And they're going to go for the plant here. They gotta swing for this one. That's actually a good recon. The recon will spot everything. Skadoodle could be in trouble. Skadoodle's been fully spotted. If it wasn't for the fact that there's gravity well there, Zoms could have pushed on through and Shazam, I think, tried to go for it. Does get punished. And now the rest of the plant's gonna be there. Zoms will respect it. Two versus three, but Skadoodle's very low. Oh, and Sick has snuck his way into the site, trying to move forward with the judge. He finds himself one elimination. Stuck a little bit on the sentry turret that was there, but it might not make a difference. Spider playing close. He's gonna be flashed up. Goes to check. Too many smokes to do. Quick take over towards C. Showstopper in play. That will be used, even though Tens was low. They get the reveal. The recon bolt. Dapper holding close. Good for one and a second. Nerulka coming out. Only nine bullets. That's all he needs. Now to the pistol. Looking for a fourth. But turned aside. The retake still trying to come on through. They run it back on the floor. Does get dealt with. Curry going to go right to the lockdown. 1v2 situation. Going to get pressured. Back down. And the challenge will be there. Sick finds the kill. And Cover we've seen from T1 has been great so far. Can it hold true? Dapper moving forward with Sick. Able to find the first couple eliminations. That's all favorable for Sentinels. And the spam shots from Zoms will find him a double. That'll be enough for Sick to get the spike planted. And for Curry and Automatic, they're going to do whatever they can to try to retake this. They're largely doing it from the same angle. One up top, one from the normal connector. Down low. Audi's able to find one, but not a second. Curry, long range shot to the fusion. No damage, no kills. Largely no nothing outside of the ability to get the spike planted. Shazam got shrugged off of it. And... Oh, just barely gets it down in time. So T1 looking for a retake. They find first up, playing this alleyway. T1 have to move quickly on this retake. It's going to have to all be from their defensive spawn. And the showstopper will be used to come through. They clear off the back right side of the site, which nobody was actually there for. But as Automatic finds one elimination, they will very, very quickly recognize that Sentinels are 100% playing this through C long. Spam shots over the ping on where the spike is. Good for the first kill. Days trying to stick. Not going to find anything in Sentinels. They clean everything up. But Skadoodle's here and has a little bit of help. On the way of Automatic, but actually the help isn't good enough. As Automatic will be the first one flooded. Trades will come through. Tens pushing forward. Finds the second. Curry. Next one off defensively for T1. The elongated gunfight. They both have to go to pistols. Shazam is able to find elimination. Tens even pushing the bounds of the beat. And a lot more utility for days as well. He doesn't even need long. So Sick has done his job. He's gotten the spike down. That's really all he needs to be doing. You've got Alert coming through. It's Dapper all the way through middle. Alarm bot will be placed. But it won't be enough information as Dapper finds the kill. He wants to go forward to deny the lockdown. Will not be able to get there in time as Kadoodle finds the trade. Now you go into the shrouded step. Try to make a play forward. Still all the utility being used and it allows T1 to come out, but does anyone recognize that Zoms is coming off the high oh. Yes, Skadoodle finds enough damage, but is there enough time? Sick, holding the angle! I mean, just rejuvenated there as well. We talk about this opening play, Curry deleting the runner back and send by the wall. You look at that from Automatic, by the way, he, he sends the uh, paint shells directly where Sick was. Take quick. Oh, Daze is in a, in a corner. 
I mean, he should find one. Anything beyond that would be great. There's the first. Not going to get the second. Immediate trade. Responsible for that is Tens, but it's going to be Skadoodle still inching his way out of the site. Paranoia will allow him to play a little further forward left. with Spider, but as one falls, the other will quickly follow. Next on is automatic. He actually spike takes down the spike here. That's going to be some valuable information. In both the initial skirmish on a long, a short, and then automatic shows up and the rest of T1 can actually respond. And I believe it was Skadoodle maybe for the first rotation. And T1's A-hold there, very powerful. I mean, they have first will keep the sentry turret honest for now. Tens only down to a couple more knives. Automatic able to take him out, but the trades will eventually be there. Curry, the setup on C will provide this time as he uses the nano storm for the elimination. But Shazam does tag Curry into the corner with one of the hits from the Hunter's Fury. This is still a 4v2 situation favoring T1 all in all. Dapper is going to be the one who has to find some sort of an opening. And Curry is going to knock him out. That's three kills for Curry. One more. They know Shazam's remaining. You've got to find a way through. Now Nebulas are coming out. Automatic for first blood. Immediately traded by Zoms. Dapper on the site trying to spam through the cyber cage. Now he gets an angle, finally finds a headshot, now pushing across, has to do the leak up top, but needs to turn his attention down low, or maybe not, is Shazam there to help? Skadoodle, Spider, recover, spike on the ground, not a lot of time to play with 10 seconds, but health pools are low, Skadoodle! Skadoodle, as he will also rotate to get up top, here's the angle check, first blood good, the second one as well, Dapper still committing, Spider playing in the opposite angle, does he even need to? Skadoodle finds a third. Last player left alive is sick. Some self-sustained, but runs right into dazed, waiting for And they will push forward. Butter's gonna get caught the paranoia out. So the first blood, good, stays safe. Boom bot almost finding value, but is deleted. And with that first blood, Sentinel say, let's rotate, let's try to execute over to A. Automatic is playing a pretty close angle, and with these couple of nebulas that are coming out, it has put a bit of a pause to this hit from Sentinels for now. Still seems to head though, so automatic at this stage for T1, they know that Sentinels are hanging around here, especially with Day's dead. It's gonna need to be a fast rotation. Curry has finally made it over. This heaven's gonna be really important, and I don't know if there's gonna be a swing Ooh. in time. Barely is Curry gonna get one kill, but doesn't quite find the spike. We'll get a free gun. And if he actually gets the kill into sick, this could be a very different round, but Sentinels now find their rotation, get their way onto B, and T1 gonna have to ad ad address 10 straight away, and 10's ah. the only frag. Yeah, it's a beautiful read from Tens. Also, reads the second of Automatic, trying to rotate from the same angle. Skadoodle gonna stack with him. And actually, now Automatic, who's tagged down to half HP, maybe reconsidering what they want to do. A couple of footsteps, pitter-pattering over through dirt. Shazam's gonna hear every single bit of this, and <laughs> it's just throwing weapons over the top, saying, no, you cannot have any of these. Just to make sure that if this is a round that T1 give up, it will not come with any ARs being recovered. And it looks like that might be indeed the case. Skadoodle going to make his play for it, but not finding that first blood of the dapper means that there will likely be trades in place and even beyond that time, not favorable whatsoever. Skadoodle eventually falls and Sentinels get on the board. I think it's Central is taking control of ramp really quickly. You have the operator into Tense's hands. You would expect that that kill should come onto Days, but Days has come up with two now. At least it will be a res. With Sick going down, the numbers aren't that much better for Sentinels. And Tens is actually going to survive through the res, but he's stuck with an Operator now against the 3v3 situation in which the Spike hasn't even made it onto A yet. So Skadoodle getting a little bit of a star set up. Zoms from Ropes will find Dazed for free, so a 3v2 unfolds. But the Spike will continue to make its play over to A, and as it does, Curry's able to find Tens. So now the Spike is down. Last player alive is Shazam. 30 seconds left. And I don't think anyone actually has any information on where Shazam's positioned. So the spike will be collected and a plant could still come through. It just comes down to how do you want to play this 1v2 post plant? Because both members from T1 are working together and they're wrapping around the back side of this. The check for Shazam. Not even able to get a shot off. Curry recovers in a number of ways, realistically speaking, to give a third round to T1's defense. Shazam really needed to have a dash available there. Third way up ropes. Spider's gonna have to hit something off of this, and there it is. There's the first. That's the blade storm down. Second contested is 10. Who gets caught with the blast pack? Spider good for another, but sick is there for the trade. But has he done enough is the question. Obscuring vision. Sick gonna get the plant off, and now it just comes down to how do you want to form this 3v3 post planning for Sentinels? Waiting for a lot of, lot of members to come back still, but it's, it's currently just automatic by himself. Two more from Vents. 
And up for first contact, it's going to be Dapper. Dapper could get a really nice timing here. One kill would be brilliant. And there it is. Oh, oh it gets two. And that includes the res player as well. So Dapper has three Skidoo to go straight back down after being res and automatic. Thinking about this situation, one versus three. It does not occur. So a big round nonetheless for Sentinels. Bring it to a one round disadvantage for now. Ultimate Orm will be soaked up. Tense does have the potential of blasting this site open with a showstopper. It'll be the Boombot first. That'll come through. Gonna see Days playing a tight corner. Gravity Well in, into the mix. Trying to blast back away, but no chance. Days finds the kill. Curry maybe wants to go a little bit further forward, but it's automatic. Who's there for the help in the first two kills? Good again for T1. Weapons also acquired. That was really risky from Tens. I mean, you know the stars on the ground. You know that it's gonna get popped for Gravity Well as soon as they see you. I thought maybe they were baiting that out. I thought maybe it was pretty obvious. Okay, yeah, you know, Sentinels, they see the star. They're just going to force a util, make it interesting. Dapper now up against two. Around every single corner. Spider with a one tap. And if he wants to, the gun on the floor as well. This is falling apart from Sentinels. They have an operator online. And Shazam will make use of that one to take down Spider. At least one return. But at this stage, T1 can definitely take this round with a 4v2 advantage. Oh, for sure. Knowing that the operator is in hands of Shazam. I feel like if you're T1, you left. have to make Sentinels play for a plant. Put that operator in a very vulnerable spot, which, as Shazam has the spike, he might find himself. There. Meanwhile, though, Zom's coming forward. One King from Automatic seems to know that this is the case. Planted. Does find the kill. Shazam, tagged up by Paint Shells, stays alive. 1v4, don't rule him out from being able to pull this off. Has the time to play with. T1 is... Really taking their time here for this retake. Wanted to make sure they do it cleanly. Here's the top first shot misses. Fly at him. <laughs> Why not? Shazam misses the first shot. Automatic, even with the pistol. Just tell the wall this time. That's important to know. But it just comes down to, will you have a chance to use this wall coming through? Oh my goodness. Tens right in his face. The showstopper's doodle for the trade, though. Numbers still prevail for Sentinels overall. Neural that's going to be committed. And this should be a plant for Sentinels on the B site. And yeah, a really important wall coming down there as well. That's coming through from second. I believe if you look from Daze's POV, he was going for sick. Realized then it's going to be tens in his face and falls to him. Very important. 1v1 happening here. That goes away. Off Skadoodle. So maybe the post plant will rather the retake can still work. Or T1. <laughs> Pending how Skadoodle handles that situation. Nope. Sick will take him down. Two versus three now. Have to make a decision here if you're T1 with this operator. Are you actually going to try to play for this retake? This is a huge round for Sentinels to continue to go essentially tit for tat with T1 just to go round for round this is really important overall and it doesn't look like spider is going to find too much as far as the angle is concerned tag through the wall and it's automatic needing to find a way to retake and it's largely going to be through screens as there are a handful of members stacked up in that direction I do wonder if uh, the other cosmic divider is going to come through as well I mean schedule has got that one in hand but it looks like T1 just want to get straight in towards site spider for one but it's Dapper and Tens that will be making the trades happen. Low HP for Tens. It comes wow. down to only Zoms. Zoms has got to hold on for everybody. And there are so many players still alive on T1. Zoms needs to win the first 1v1 and convert further, but can't do it. Nothing's going to happen from heaven. It has to be screens or nothing. And now Spider opening up the account onto Shazam. It's a 5v4 right off the rip. Oh, but I love this play from Tens. Going to take away the space. Spider though finds the second as Sick was going for the resurrection. Boombot out. Automatic will use that to take care of Tens. One more up top. Shazam. No need for ropes, apparently. Flies his way up. Finds the kill. Skadoodle for the trade. That's the spike, spike. carrier down. Dapper down low in the nebula. Skadoodle's going to have the jump on him. We'll find elimination. And it comes down to Zom's for a... It's connected. Yes. Yeah, it does. Kiss yeah. the shoulder of Dapper now on 27. Cosmic Divide's going to come through from Skadoodle. Tens has already gained a tower. Now is looking to move quickly. Does not see automatic down low. Sick will find the trade, but Spider and Skadoodle watching cross angle areas. Not even needed. Spider will see. Oh, but has to find something, and it does. Gravity well soaks up tens. The counter response coming through, but it's explosives everywhere. Even trades, pinstripe kill feet. We go. Spider gonna commit for the from the shadows, and he will read that this play is coming to the top side of the B zone. Curry down low is the only defensive player here for T1. Needs to find at least one elimination, and the Spider I finds a second. Me. Now it's just up the Shazam. 1v3 situation. Stuck just at the bottom of the rope. And maybe a bit of a misstep here. Finds the first, does not expect this. Pushed all the way back to mid though. Automatic, trying to follow up, but taken down. 
solo challenge came through, and then Dave's trying to use the wall to boost up. Ah, oh, this is in pieces right now for the side of T1. I get trying to test the setup initially at A, but maybe a bit over extensive, and it leads to a 5v2 situation that Sentinels have the favor. I mean, they don't even really take sight. They're trying to go Vents early, and now Vents control a heaven control. It's all going the way of Sentinels. Hold the thought, because Skadoodle yeah. might still make it interesting. He has to get the next kill. Doesn't quite do it. Sickle shut him down with Spider alone. Does have at least got armor, but one versus three, not expecting too much. Uh, he's already tagged up that armor, already eliminated, down to 19 HP. One bullet will do it, and there it is. Sentinels do so much information for Shazam. But Zom's now kind of caught by themselves. Shazam making their way in, dashing forward at 11 HP bold, but Zom's needed to help, and goodness, the crossfire set up perfect! Because Vents has been re-aggressed, and here we go. T1 have control of the A Heaven. High ground versus low ground. Dan's able to find two as he runs away. Showstopper yeah, Earn takes that out, but Shazam finds the kill before it's required to find the elimination. Dazed up top, collects the spike, but pushed back by Paint Shells. Healing Ward will be there. Not a lot of time to play with. Gonna try to get over to the B side as fast as possible, but no. they're gonna be there too. Smokes will go out. The take coming out from the top side. Automatic. Showstopper will find Dapper. The kills are good from Days as he watched the rotation off screen. Sick up top is trying to do the exact same thing, but has to back down. Not bad overall for T1. They'll recover a couple of rifles, and Automatic will get the spike planted. Oh, good patience being shown. There it is. Yeah, I mean, he's going to need it as well. It's 3v3 with the res, and now three rifles. Here's Dazed again. Oh, it's got to go the way of Sick. Zombs for another kill as well, and Sentinels. They're not going to allow themselves up that can punish for the first elimination. Dapper, going to get a bit aggressive here, but also punished. So, Automatic finds the kill. Cosmic Divide will come through. Tens down low, finds the first. Able to avoid the gravity well. The barrier orb does get reinforced. The Tens could technically pop himself over if he wants to make that much noise to make the play happen. Doesn't even need to. Finds the kill. Resurrection will come through, but Tens has done more than enough to stall this plant from happening. The defense is starting to make its way onto site now for the recovery. Spike, trying to find a way to come down, but it's still being held, and there has not been an attempt to actually get the plant off yet. Days is stuck in a bit of a corner. This is another situation where T1 have early kills with a free rank, but Curry up top will find himself a double. The third's down to his left. Shazam! Able to reveal themselves off the shots coming through the wall. Curry, good for the third kill. T1. Get themselves on the board for the first from the shadows. Going to deny that, though, as the Spot rotation be from Sentinels. This spike is going to be really light. But Curry does find one elimination. Wants Zombs as the second. Swings over, but Zombs finds elimination. Down to 12 seconds on the clock. The spike is just making its way forward. Meanwhile, 10 Zombs find the eliminations, and we get tied up at... And they're looking to get aggressive and maybe catch out sick on that same exact play. Oh my Shazam God. able to punish. Tens gets the second through the middle of the map. Everything Look going wrong for T1. A has got stars all over the place, and Sentinels have rotated over knowing that their last couple of members could be that direction. Zom's playing with utility, maybe caught a little bit off guard, but keeps their life. Looks for the second retrain, finds the second elimination. Zom's exactly not going to find more than that, though, as Curry and Daze keep the play alive. Yeah. Just for now, Neurope Death will help the effort. Now it's just head tapping from here. And hold on, but Shazam's been on fire for a few rounds. Oh, this operator's starting to really pay dividends. It's like no matter where you go, Shazam's there. Gets the frags. 12 and 10, and not a lot of hope. And we even talk about that opening. Play coming. The other could still come through. Sick peeking. Finds two. Wants more than that. Maybe a chance for a third. Dapper there to assist. Everything has gone wrong. Skadoodle. Spider. 2v5. Finds the first. Second one around the corner. But Sick finds that elimination and will take a fourth place. It's going to keep T1 at a bit of a distance. But that's actually fine for automatic. Keep it the lock down the headshot of the Dapper. Smokes, Cloudburst, Flashes, everything being used to come through. Zom's going to step on to this defusal. Going to get it to halfway. Going to step off to try to take the next set of good fights. Even exchanges so far. T1 now trying to push forward through this wall. It's going to be a 3v2 overall. Toggling this fucking sick. Good for the kill. Now 2v2. Time becoming a problem. And Spider just taking taps. Oh, fine. The second and the third. Still trying to follow forward. Long oh. range. Gets the single shot to the ghost to make sure the recon bolt gets responded to, and then the second set of dives. Not nearly as good as the first one, but Curry's able to find the elimination, keeping the numbers in favor of T1. 3v2 post plant. This is where they struggled, though. And maybe they will once more. It's just down to Spider, and because he's lost one, it's all he's got is a pistol, and that will be Sentinels.
breaking up the post plant pretty darn cleanly to get on the board. I mean, Curry never got away for the post plant. Automatic Schultz still trying to find a way to get on. Snake bite comes through. A little bit of damage on the Skadoodle, but he still sticks for the plant. Next set of engagements definitely about to come through as you can feel T1 want to keep the pressure forward. And as Sentinels eventually catch some high ground, they make their way on. But oh, an unfortunate team nade comes through. Sick will fall to tens of paint shells. Skadoodle Spider holding on. And it comes down to one. Tom's good for the first, hoping for some spray. Not going to get a second. Ends can get something down with the showstopper. Maybe Shazam can get a tap, and there it is. Oh. I want a headshot, but we'll walk away. Shazam technically could go to a blade storm, and maybe the call will come through as Sick will find an elimination. Yeah, there's the blade storm up. Shazam making their way up the top. We'll get a regen after it had been decayed down to about 9 HP. And T1 setting up for days to play the clutch spot. Showstopper over the top. Shazam gets there first and finds one more behind that. Are you kidding? Last place. He may have had an opportunity to use the operator. He has to back out. Two players will be detained by that lockdown. Automatic trying to find some opening over through the side at orange, but he's not going to find anything with that. Shazam picks up on a spider, and his Skadoodle gets the plant off. This will be a 3v3 situation in which Shazam will actually swap away from the op and into a rifle. Curry's going to hold in the Viper's Pit. Trailblazer are also sent through it, dazed working around the outside of the Poison Clouds, but will not get an opportunity to see anything of Dapper. Shazam finds oh. one. Curry's still holding. Needs to play their life as long as possible. Zom's trying to do his finds Curry, and Shazam catches the third! Need to hit a first shot here. That has to happen regardless. Trailblazer comes out. There's the peak. There's the oh. shot. Connects. Beautiful first blood. Backs away. The wall will keep them safe. Now the rotation. Sentinels making their way forward. Flashes, smokes, recon bolts, everything being spent on the retake, but T1 are holding pretty solid. Automatic and Curry are able to find two. Curry going to be tested again, and well, that's a test that he'll ace. Headshot on the tens. Now high ground advantage. Sees the ponytail of Sick, even able to clip it a touch. But still being threatened is the post point of T1, and they're not backing away. They're holding this one in close. The resurrection will come through. Hunting is for it. It will be Curry. Finds a third strip. Anything for free over to be in. It's been a few rounds since Sick last died there, and falling over tube. Not very aggressive from Dapper over into towards mid. Just checking over Boiler. So pretty safe so far. I mean, all members of Sentinels playing reasonably far back, waiting to see what T1 are going to do. I've got your trail. There's the Seekers. Aggression starting to build, but Shazam again finds first blood. Recon Bolt comes out for both sides. Hens needing to back away, trying to stay safe. So much information even still throughout this Viper's Wall that's been placed to kind of put a mini divide in this play. Dapper, good for one, but immediately traded. Skadoodle will find a second. Curry trying to get the plant off. Skadoodle's gotten himself a third, but Sick wants to try to contest the post point immediately. Not going to find the kill. It's just down to Zombs. Their position revealed. Snake fight to flush them out. Curry finds the final kill in T1. Spider moving forward. Viper's Pit also going to be used to mix. Sick though wants the challenge. Not going to find any eliminations. Tens now. Next one up. Mid map falls. And you have to make a decision right away here if you're Sentinels with this operator still in hand and Dapper, who's still pretty removed from this play. Looks like they are going to try to exit, but on the hunt is T1 through the backside of the defensive spawn. A lot of them there as well. It's very difficult for Shazam to get away. And for the first time for T1, I mean, you know, trying to make plays around the kitchen. A flawless for these four Sentinels, and they have everybody alive. Here we go, Hunter's Fury coming through from Days. Oh. Automatic gets killed, so that's not a great start. It's at least going to be a trade. Hunter's Fury denies the initial attempt to plant. Shock bolts coming through, but just a bit wide. Sick. With the wall down, does get Zombs back into the mix. Now here comes the recontest from T1. They go back and forth. Even to a 3v3 we go. The post plant will be set up behind yellow. Showstopper being sent. Blindly, mind you, from Tens. We'll find a little bit of damage, but not too much. Shazam takes care of Curry. So now numbers for the side of Sentinels. But how do you break past this post plant at yellow is the question. Recon Bolt will see so much information. And the paint shells will slush them out. Days gets taken down. Sentinel. Make or break pistols. So timings trying to be found in terms of how much, you know, gas is remaining in the tank. And Tens even finds a kill in the boom box. So here it is. Sentinels and quite a lot of kills. That's going to be down to will they even find the trades though at all. I mean, that was all automatic trying to push forward the frenzy. The flashes and boom bots committed for it. But 
Oh man, last pack there as well, just to deny some space. Spider's gonna try to hop on, but Tens will not allow him to find any progress at all. Tens, oh my goodness, the information off the recon is good for Dapper! Sentinel holding Smugly! Curry trying to do something, but coming through, aggression from Tens, but doesn't see anything on the way in. So now the fuse running low, might not see anything at all, and automatic up top has found himself a double. Can send out the showstopper, but finds nothing with it. Skadoodle with another elimination keeps the numbers in favor of the defense for T1, but with the walls that are down, the plant will still come through. Hawks, Seekers, and the rest of T1 behind this, trying to go for the quick regain. Curry trying to push through. Toxin's running low. Wants to try to bait out any shots that come out. Skadoodle with them one more. It's just down to six. Gets one, gets two, but Spider. They're gonna go for this retake. Nothing there to counter it. Dapper obviously doesn't have it. Just very available after using that one uh -oh. earlier. There it is, a couple of early trades as well. Spider down, which means number of operator. Automatic's getting really deep, and these are really great kills so far. Two plays detained. And there's pressure on that because of the detainment. It's a 5v4 in favor of T1, but they will still be playing a retake. Spider trying to find an angle, but gets denied. Now to a 4v4. Sentinel starts to bounce back off this post plant. Days keeps things level, but for how long can he make this play stay alive? Shazam? The wall's blocking his line of sight, so is the cloud, but the spam shots will make sure no one's actually defusing. Curry trying to move forward. He's got to find the next set of kills if there's going to be a chance for T1 to actually get this, and now it just comes down to Curry. Finds the first. Does he know where Zombs is? Going to use the toxic screen to get back on. Gets it to halfway. Takes the gunfight. Oh! Curry, the 1v1 win. And Curry going to be... Really having to step up with the rest of the years, Hill, because here comes that plant. Some should get it for free to walk away and four alive. This post plant with the yeah. Viper's Pit. And you saw that snake bite come over the wall, it was just a little bit too deep. So now the Viper's Pit being in play with slow orbs, snake bites, and everything else you're not going to be able to see on this retake. How do you get back in if you're T1? Sick will find the first elimination. And a second beautiful snap onto Curry. Spider, Skadoodle, 2v4 situation. Flash will go in, but at a certain point, you have to really consider, is it even worth going for? You've already got Spider running away. Skadoodle does find one elimination on the exit, but there was never a true look for T1 to go for a retake, so we'll tie things. Points! It can't be possible. It can't be possible that the sick is this good. One versus two with no time left to play. And he gets this kill as well. I mean, look at that frag. Finds the resurrection. He did everything this round. Four in total? Oh my god, both out of the smoke. There was not much to work with. I thought maybe, yeah, maybe you can throw down a slow orb, heal up a bit of damage. That's probably it. T1 can try and save it. Dapper is the counter though, so even if the lockdown gets played in and it's gonna be played in, it's gonna be instantly destroyed. T1 have limited util. It's gotta be the recon. The recon from da from from days has to really pull through. Dapper's going to use the Hunter's Fury to deny the lockdown. Here comes the retake attack to try to stave off elimination. T1 down to two. It's Skadoodle. He falls. Last one's on him. He's found himself a double. 1v2 now. Still needs to get the defuse. Moving quickly. Tries to toggle, but the snake point comes over the top. It 